Hi. So now let us see uh, one of the important command that is insert into command actually. Okay. So this is uh, really very, very important. After a table is created, that means it is defined. We must uh, place the data inside the table, right? So that we can do any manipulations. So that is the reason how to insert a data into a table. Okay. So let us see the basic uh, methods, how to insert a data. This command is used to insert new records into your table, actually new rows, we can insert that actually. Now let us see this we can do in two ways, basically. So the first one is if you are adding values for all the columns of the table, you do not need to specify the column names in the SQL query. So what is this one? So this is very simple. Now let us see. You can see, first of all, the syntax wise, if you observe, uh, insert into this is the uh, this is the keyword you must use for inserting data into table. And then this is the table name. Then this is the keyword along with the insert into you must use values. Then value one, value two, value three, and so on. Actually. So here, one thing if you observe, for example, table name table uh, that means this particular table have four columns okay then inside the values you must have value one value two value three value four okay so if table have four columns that is what if you want to insert the data to all the columns actually then how many columns are there in the table in the same order you must give that many values actually. So let us see this one with a uh, practical. Uh, so here I'm going to take a, as usual, uh, EMP table. So this is the table we created already. So EMP number, E name, job, MGR, hire date, sal, commission, and DEPT number. So total eight columns are there here. So now you want to insert data to all the columns actually. So for example, I'm going to take like this. So you can see this particular row. Okay, so here insert into, as we discussed. So let us take uh, that into, uh, that in capital letters, then here values also, so that uh, we can easily identify values. Now you see, this is the table name, as we discussed in the syntax. Now you can see here, very, very importantly, very important thing is let us first of all run this one so before that let me show you a table without having any data so that is what select star from em okay so if i run this query okay so here we must select the db schema aar okay now if i run this one what is going to happen so you can see now you see this is the output here there is no data actually. Now we are going to insert this particular record. This record we are going to insert. Now if I run this one, what is going to happen? Let's see. Uh, yeah, as usually here we must select the database name, schema name. So here dot. Now if I run now, you can see. So one row is affected. Now let us display the data is this a record is inserted or not you can see 7359 smith whatever uh, here we inserted smith clerk uh, that a clerk is the job type mgr hire date salary commission and dep whatever you given here so here let us try to understand this uh, in simple manner here observe the order of the columns in the original table definition in which order you defined in the same order here you are giving the values that is really very very uh, important one actually okay so because in the same order you must mention actually so for example if i give ln here if i change the order what's going to happen so so first it you don't know first of all but here you are giving the string values. So that is going to treat as a EMP number, but it's a definition saying it is a integer actually. So let's try to 
execute this line and observe what is going to happen. So you can see uh, here also AR dot. Now, if I run this one, you can see incorrect integer value ln. Okay. So actually, the first value must be what? Here, whatever be the first column. So that means EMP number. EMP number data type is what? Integer actually. So it must be integer first value. So what does it mean? You must give the values in the same order actually. That means whatever columns is there in the original definition, in the same order you must mention when you want to insert the data for all the columns. Okay. So this is what one way of inserting the data into table. Now, the another requirement is that there is no guarantee that all the times you will have the values for all the columns actually. So here eight columns are there. Time being, I don't have all columns values actually. I have only EMP number, E name, and his hire date, for example. I don't have job type, MGR type, salary is what, commission is what, what is his DPT number. We don't know at time being. But if we want to create a record, we must insert the data. At that time, what we will do, that is the second way of inserting data actually. So that if you see, specify the both the column names under which columns you want to enter the data and corresponding values. So that is what syntax, if you see, here you can observe, that is very simple. Same thing, insert into, here also insert into the table name and what is the column name corresponding value. So column name, value. Column, second column, second value. Third column, third value. So let us see that here. So for example, if I have, if I take a data here, another record, uh, now you can see. So here, as we discussed, under which columns you want to insert the data, okay? So that is, insert into EMP. Okay, I want to insert the data under EMP number. Okay, fine. And then E name, fine. And then hire it. So only these three I want to insert. Now, if you come to the values, so EMP number and E name, and I want to insert the hire it. So that means higher date is the, this one. So let us remove other things. Okay, so this is the one. Now, if I try to insert this one, what is going to happen? You just see. So here EMP number, first column. So first value, correspondingly, it is going to map and then it will insert it into the table. So, yeah, so schema name, A or uh, now, if I try to run this, okay, so job also we must mention. So let us take uh, job also. So it should not be, so if you see the definition, it must be not null. So some value must provide. So that is the reason. Uh, here you can take job type as salesman, okay? And let us observe other things also here, DEPT number also not null. So let us take those things. See, not null means you must provide the value actually when you are inserting. So that is the reason it is throwing an error. So try to observe the errors also. Those are the very important things. Now, uh, DEPT number, let us take it as 10. Now, if I run this one, what is going to happen? Yeah, here, yeah, this is one of the thing we are going to discuss. So here three, um, four columns are there, but five values are there that must match actually. That is why let us give the PT number correspondingly. If I run this one, so now you see one row is inserted. Let us observe that. And before going to see the result, this is executed, so this data is inserted. So correspondingly under the MGR part, what's going to insert? 
under salary what is going to insert under commission what is going to insert if you don't provide the values to a particular columns then by default it will take it as a null value actually so null value is going to insert so now you can see so you see uh for the word that is what we inserted right here so he is the word word and uh, mgr null here and salary null here and commission null here okay so this is what actually in this way uh, we can insert so here the remembering points are how many columns you are mentioning here that many values must be there okay so both should match and correspondingly you have to give the values column 1 value 1 column 2 value 2 such a way map mapping will be happen okay so these are the basic uh, inserting methods actually in this way we can insert the data into the tables